Hi guys, today on the Property Fixers channel we're going to be talking about masonry painting. Now, um, I know that companies can sometimes, only sometimes, but they'll charge you an arm and a leg for painting your house. When in all honesty, it's something you can do yourself and it's something we do ourselves as well. So, let's talk about our setup. Now there are many other companies you could use for the paint, for the sprayer and things like that and we'll touch on that a little bit. But for us, currently we're using the Airbauer 700 watts, an HVLP sprayer, and you get it from Screwfix for about 55 bucks, which is a bargain for something like this. Basically, the, the paint, the masonry paint, is going to go in this tub, and it relies on it being a certain viscosity, a certain thickness, for it to get sucked up through the air and then blown out the nozzle for a good, even spread. So, this one we're using today is the Dulux Weather Shield. Uh, this one is the slate, the pale slate. So far, uh, we, we gave it a quick test out, but I'll do it again just for this video. We found that two parts paint to one part water worked quite well with this. I'm just going to prove this to you now. Here's one I made earlier, in true Blue Peter fashion. We have two parts paint, one part water. These jugs are 50 pence from a supermarket. So it's worth, if you're not using this and using something else, it's worth testing it and just getting it right. So that way when you buy a big 10 litre jug, and if it's two parts paint, one part water, five liters of water in there, in a bucket separately, and use one of your big paddle mixers that you put in your drill, get it as smooth and lump free as possible, and it will come out this like an absolute demon. So just for proof, my mixing stick. I always speed this bit up. And just like that, we're done. That's it, mixed. Easy as that. Now you'll be doing this in a bucket or a bigger tub with a big paddle mixer, but this is just to show you guys and just show you if that consistency works. So, paint goes in the bottom of this. Now these guns are suction fed, so basically the air blows through the gun and it sucks the air up and then sprays it out the front. If you get the gravity fed guns, they have a bucket on the top um, there. If you're doing thinner paints, Fair to use them, but on this one it's very good. Paint goes in here, and that that there is the kind of consistency you want. You want it running off the paint, but you can still see it actually. It still gives you good coverage on this lovely red pencil. Try not to spill your paint when you do this. Okay, so we're loaded. Now the good thing about this is it's not like a compressor, it actually sounds more like a vacuum as you're about to hear. I'll turn the volume down a little bit for it. There's a little dial here that if you tighten it up, it lets you pull the trigger more, which should let more paint through. My advice is do that, because this, it's not just on or off. So the more you pull the trigger, the more paint will come through. So it can be quite accurate if you need to be. So let's paint, see if it works. Easy as that. That took me seconds to do. If you're standing there with a brush on rough casted wall, you'd be sitting there all day trying to get this paint in. And this, it just pushes the air into the gaps, it covers it quickly. And even if it needs two coats, believe me, it's a lot quicker than using the brush. So, let's do this wall. Enjoy the time lapse. <laughs> So there you go, that was one side of our house. Um, it took, I don't know, it took about half a day to do, uh, just with moving the scaffold back and forward, but 
was quick, it was easy, it was simple. I hope you liked the video. All in cost, you know, um, a tub of this paint is 20-ish to 30 pound, depending on the brand that you get. This is 55 pound and you could, you could spray quite a lot of this. For a three-sided building, we're about four or five tubs of this, just so you know the kind of cost. So you're laying about 120 to 150 to cover your house properly. Consider what you pay somebody else to do it, that's not bad. And you still have this to keep. You know, you can do your neighbours, and then your neighbours' neighbours, and then your cousins, brothers, others' neighbours. Well, I hope you like the video. If you do like the video, please subscribe, please like the video, and if there's anything you want to see us cover in future videos, please comment below. If you have any questions, put them below as well. We, we like to respond, we like to help people as much as we can. So, love you guys.